Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page 10. Um, we're getting close to the end of the album. I had planned to finish a little earlier tonight, but I had some issues. So we're going to start with a six and a half by eight inch flap, which is going to get attached to the right hand side, six and a half by eight. I'm going to score a half inch on the six and a half inch side. And like I said, it's going to get installed on the right, or sorry, left hand side of the pocket page. <clears throat> so we have this nice deep flap, and then we're going to do a four by nine. Hmm. Actually, that's not right. It's going to be four and a quarter. Four and a quarter by nine. I need to write that down. It helps me remember for the cut list. Four and a quarter by nine. It's going to be a pocket or side pocket <clears throat> installed on the right hand side. There we go. Now we need to install an opposing magnet. Easier said than done. They weren't letting go. There we go. And I've mentioned this several times, but I'll say it again. I'm using scotch tape instead of double-sided tape just to see how it works. It's, it's holding the magnet fine. I'm just concerned about the glue uh, maintaining its integrity on this surface as opposed to the double-sided tape. So this is definitely a test, and I'll keep you guys posted. It is thinner, um, which means I think you can put more layers between the magnets if you need to. Okay. All right, so... This is going to be the cover. Looks beautiful. I think it's trimmed and inked with mahogany. This is going to be the inside. <clears throat> Here's the cover for the pocket. Let's go ahead and add this. I'm pretty sure we're doing the green, but I'm missing a piece of paper here. Give me a moment. Pretty sure it's not that. Oops. Oh yeah, it's this. We're going to use this, and that's too short, too shallow. There we go. That's it. So 
So we're going to use this beautiful pattern paper. We're going to slip it slightly inside the pocket. This will be on the other side. So we have that turquoise coming in on both sides. Now here we go. Last panel. Uh, I think it goes this way. Yeah, looks like the flowers are going up. Yeah, not down. And it's easy to see on this side the way the bows are. So yeah, I got the orientation right. Sometimes it's difficult to tell. Not beautiful. So that's the end of that, and then I have some inserts to put inside. And I kind of st here they are. So I have all these beautiful inserts and or tags to use. So I think I'm gonna just lay this here as an embellishment. I think it's beautiful. So I was, uh, as soon as I did that, I started thinking about where the magnet was and worried that it wouldn't click shut, but it was fine. So and then I have all these other bits, which are open for journaling on the back side that can go in this pocket. And they're just gorgeous. So there, it's all going to stay inside this pocket. And I think I'm just going to add this little teeny tiny bit on the bottom. which is an indicator that there's a flap and that there's some movement um, here. So um, one, of, one of our designers, Carla Sweet, um, she's an expert at that. Uh, she does uh, circles, semicircles, to indicate that there's some movement or interactivity, um, which is a great sign for somebody who's not a mini album maker or ever had one. So. I think it's a great idea. Every time I see one of her albums, I think, oh, I need to figure out how to incorporate that because it's a great idea. Because that's where all the fun is in the album. You have to know what to open and check inside of. So there we go. So that's this page. I'll be back soon with page 11. As you can see, I dropped my stamp pad. Actually, the um, stamp inside of the powder puff the adhesion gave out and so it fell down. But that's okay because on the bottom of this page, I'm gonna put a pocket. So I'm not really worried about that stain there. Normally that would have uh, put me in a tailspin, but I was planning on doing um, a vertical um, display here. So we're gonna have a large pocket and then we're gonna have some interesting inserts inside this page. So 10 and 11, back soon.